might end up herniating your nucleus pulpitus and end up with radiculopathy. What? A pain in your butt. Oh. Is your yoga class over already, Wilson? Yeah, but I thought I might continue on with a little bit of weight training. You know, firm and toned. Why don't you try covered and hidden? <laughs> so, where's Brad? I thought you were training him. I was. You get kicked off the soccer team for mouthing off the coach. I wonder if I'm putting too much pressure on him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, Tim, my father and I went through the same thing together. You played soccer? No, 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 no. Bagpipes. <laughs> you know, Tim, I was quite a prodigy, but my father used to pressure me to practice five hours a day, and that pressure brought on one of the darkest days of my life. Tim, at the St. Patrick's Day parade, I showboated. Without shame, I drowned out the entire All-City Leprechaun Choir. That reminds me of the... Tim, we're talking about me. <laughs> Sorry. My father realized that his badgering was partly the cause of my behavior. Well, what did he do about it? Well, he lightened up. He said, do your best. If you're not the greatest bagpipe player in the world, it's okay. Oh, Tim, I felt so much better. I sat right down, I wrote a letter of apology to each and every leprechaun. Wow. Did you have to write really, really tiny? No, Tim, I didn't. Up against the wall, punk. And spread them. Very funny, Dad. Turn that other thing up a minute, will you? I want to talk to you. There's nothing to talk about. Yeah, there is. I want to talk about teamwork. Um, you know, Barry Sanders, one of the greatest running backs alive, not much without his offensive line. Michael Andretti, great driver, not much without his pit crew. Um, Michael Jordan, bad example. Um, um, Dad, I know what you're trying to say, but it's too late. I'm off the team. Listen for a minute. The reason I wanted the scholarship so bad for you is because you have great athletic ability. You know, I... I never played sports when I was your age. Yeah, I know. Grandma says you stunk. It wasn't because I stunk. It's because I wasn't interested in sports, that's all. Well, I she just... said you couldn't catch a ball to save your life. Well, it wasn't because I didn't catch a she ball. She said I... you have two left feet. Let me tell you something about Grandma for a minute, all right? Grandma, great. What, 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 what a role model. Threw like a girl all the time. And, and oh, 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 it was always passed down close when you go out and have sports. You try playing football in tap shoes. Yeah, try yeah, that, yeah. try that, huh? Let's just forget about grandma, okay? Yeah, yeah. And her cube steak and stewed tomato dinner for me about going to football games. I couldn't even, couldn't even think I had so much gas, for God's sakes. It's... Okay, okay. The reason I wanted you to do this is because you're good at soccer. I just wanted you to realize your full potential. That's what I want. But none of that will happen unless you show good judgment and respect for other people. So I guess I blew it. No, we both blew it. I got too excited about this scholarship, and I put too much pressure on you, Brad. So what do we do now? What we do now? I say we talk to your coach. What if he doesn't take me back? I think he will. You got to apologize. I do a little explaining. Huh? <sighs> Thanks, Dad. You bet. If it doesn't work out, I know a guy that can set you up with a bagpipe scholarship. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. 